This is Pro Wall beatboxing, a Pro Wall payroll over three, three. Firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, one contender, Nathan, the tag master, right now. This is it, Ring Wars prize fight of the big semi-final. £10,000 at stake in the final. Three three-minute rounds of Pro K1 action. In the blue corner, Nathan Dryden, the contender gym. In the red, Ben Longstaff fight unit. And what a great matchup here for Ring Wars. You can see the southpaw stance of Nathan. Back to the ropes as Ben fires off a right round kick to the face. Two quality campaigners here. And Ben looking to put Nathan under pressure, especially with that rear leg roundhouse. Nathan backed up to the ropes. Circling away. Professional K1, remember? The winner of this will fight in the final for £10,000. Really caught the imagination, this Ring Wars prize fighter tournament. Nathan doing well off the back foot there. He's still busy despite Ben pressing. Nathan's still busy and a nice little left hook. Just slipped as he threw that technique. Ben looks to walk him down again. Nathan circling once more, throws the round kick. Ben looking to retain centre ring. Pushes forward, looks for the right hand. Little nod there from Nathan as he takes that right round kick, replies with the low left. Doubles up, left hook, left round kick, Nathan. Ben stalking once more. But as you can see, Nathan very busy on the back foot and shows his mobility there as he spins Ben round, targets that lead left leg of Ben's. Ben looks to get in close and work the body. Just going to be warned, I think, for hitting the back of the head there from Mike. Nathan looking to shrug that off, but he's going to be given time. Maybe a clash of heads there, I'm not sure. Nathan being given time to recover, he's saying he's okay, wouldn't expect anything less of the man from the contender gym. As I said before, two quality campaigners in the semi-final. Nathan just caught the leg, looked to throw the right hand toe, got to throw the strike, Mike saying. Familiar pattern here, Ben looking to walk Nathan down, Nathan happy to fire back on that back foot, as you see here. Southpaw versus Orthodox when you're allowed to throw the knees in as well. There's always a danger of clash of heads because of the, the stances. Well, Ben looking for that ring control. Nathan looking to remain busy on the outside. And it's flowing fluid technique from both men. Good right hand over the top.
from Ben. Nathan really having to work that ring apron, work round the edges. Oh, that high knee came close there. And it's a busy style from the man in the blue corner. Well, what a busy opening round. And I said, Nathan Dryden, a lot of energy expended. Circling his opponent, Ben Longstaff, kept centre ring, kept looking to keep the pressure on Nathan. And the middle round, round two. And starts the way the first round ended. And as I said, it takes supreme fitness for Nathan to kickbox this way on the back foot, looking to reply to everything Ben throws at him. And Ben has just stepped up the pace a little bit again here. Looking to keep the pressure consistent, forcing Nathan to work at that pace. And the combinations are just becoming a bit more frequent now from the man in the red corner. Nice teep to keep him away from Nathan. But Ben straight back at it. And again, looking to keep Nathan under pressure. It's a great tactic. When it's K1 and everything else is equal, by what I mean by that is when the judges just cannot separate you on technique, punches land, kick land, they then look at ring control and the boxer going forward, and that's nice work from Ben there. Came down to the body after the work to the head. Good left hook there, though, from Nathan. Solid work, both men here in the second round of this three-round battle. Nice right hand, just got through the channel there from Ben. As I said, just looking to turn up the heat and that right leg comes through and regularly finds the midsection of Nathan. But Nathan, as you can see, constantly pushing out the technique off that back foot. Some boxers happy to fight on the counter. Nathan, very smooth and fluid on the counter. And the style of this bout, you feel, is suiting both men. They're happy to fight at this pace, this style. And both look for the openings. Ben stays in, doubles up the punches. Moves just away from the kick and comes back in again. Throws the knee, then the left and right. Looking to really put the pressure on Nathan and keep him totally backed up. The crowd respond. They understand that he's picked up the pace here in the second and beginning to get through now. Nathan's rear guard action just looking a little bit more desperate as Ben really starts these combinations coming in, the big knees as well. Comes through here, the body shots over the top. Keeps the pressure on. Keeps Nathan backed up. And real pressure now, there's that beautiful double to the body. Then brings the hands, here comes the knees. Superb passage there from Ben Longstaff. Nathan's a tough customer and he needed to be because He's really being asked questions now. Real pressure cook about this. And I thought Nathan had an equal share in the opening round. Happy off the back foot, but now you feel it's more of a rear guard action than a stylistic choice. That's the difference here in the second. Ben's forcing him to fight here now. And this up and down technique is beginning to get through the variety of work eye catching from Ben Longstaff. And that's a big, big round. Two down, one to go. And I've got daylight between the two men in favour of this man from the fight unit, Ben Longstaff. Gutsy performance from Nathan Dryden. But I felt his style was forced upon him in the second round, where it was a stylistic choice in the opener. And here they go again. Third and final round, and Nathan needs a big round. You know Ben will continue to push forward, and Nathan already looking to get going early, and this is good from Nathan then. He needs to stop Ben coming in at will, and those higher kicks and the combinations looking to do exactly that. He can't allow Ben to walk forward at will. Easier said than done against Mr Longstaff. He's doing a good job here at the beginning, the third, Nathan, because when 
then closes the gap. That variety of variety of technique he brings to the table. Nice jumping knee from Nathan. But Ben just walks on forward. This is where he wants to be. Drives the knee in the right hand, then the left leg. That's the combinations I was talking about. Round kick from Nathan as he steps away. Left to the body, right to the head from Ben. Steps forward again. Good left to the body from Nathan. What about this has been? Superb. Two excellent professionals here. Great cardio. Superb pace. But as you can see, oh, Nathan's saying that's low. Mike's saying it's not. He's saying he wants him to continue. So he's saying on, in his eyes that was above the waist. He's a beast, isn't he, Longstaff? Relentless pressure cooker of a fighter. Asked questions the whole three minutes of each round. And Nathan answered those questions for long periods, but I feel now he's just being worn down by Ben here. Ben breathing the same air, not giving him a moment's hesitation, a moment to regroup. He's just on him the whole time. £10,000 at stake. And I think that Ben Longstaff, unless a dramatic knockout comes from Nathan Dryden, will be the man competing for that 10,000 in the finals. He brings these body shots and then the uppercut to the head. It's a joy to watch this bout. Excellent work from both, but you've got to say, from about 30 seconds into round two, it's Ben that's catching the eye with this variety of relentless technique that he pulls in. And though there's the knee to the head, Nathan spins looking for the back fist but Ben's back on him again real treat this one for the crowd another superb ring wall spout and Ben checks that kick fires on in just pushing forward again heavy heavy shots round kick to end and Nathan He's there with Ben right to the end, but Ben pulls the pressure on again. It's a great bout, but for me only one winner going to that final and contesting for £10,000. Yes, Ben Longstaff really turned up the heat from round two onwards. Fantastic bout, but it's the man in the red corner goes for the £10,000.